Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. I have this beauty. Let me see if you can guess what kind of phone is this. This is the Samsung Galaxy S10. Oh, it's actually right here. The only problem with this phone is that it's locked to AT&T. So let me show you what happened if you put a SIM card that is not from AT&T. Don't get confused. This is to eject the SIM card and this is the microphone. So do not put this here, guys, please. This is called bad design. You should never put this together because you can make a mistake, you know, bad design. On the iPhone, that will never happen. On the iPhone, you have it on the side and the microphone is on the top. This S10 has also a room for an SD card and this is the AT&T SIM card. And today I'm gonna put a SIM card from Mint Mobile. What happened if I put a SIM card from Mint Mobile using the T-Mobile network? We're gonna see right now what's gonna happen. Look, enter network unlock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. So you need a code, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna try is using the AT&T portal because it's free. The second thing I'm gonna try is using a website like the Unlock Company. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna be forced to use software to unlock this device, okay? So I'm gonna click dismiss. Before connecting to the internet, guys, every time you have a Samsung that is locked to a carrier, it's always a good idea to go to about the phone. And this is what you need to look for. Software information, this is very important. So One UI 2.1, Android version 10 and this phone can have Android version 12 already. What I'm trying to say is that this phone has not been updated, which is great if you're trying to unlock the device. Baseline version, kernel version, build number, security status, Nox version, service provider, security software version, and look at this, Android security patch level, August 1st, 2020. So this is great if you plan to unlock the device because the older the software, the more chances you have to unlock it if you are gonna do it by software, you know? My suggestion is always check this first and do not update anything until you unlock the device. So let me connect to the internet. So now I'm gonna go to the AT&T portal and this is the portal we need. Before that, I'm gonna dial this really quick, star pound 06 pound. That's how you get the IMEI number. And I'm gonna try to unlock this device. Click unlock your device. Do you have a mobile number? No, I don't. And here's the IMEI number, which is 35, 60, 28, 10, 25, 19, 38. And as you can see, the portal immediately recognized the device as the SMJ973U, which is the model of the S10. So click I'm not a bot and click I read the legal info and then click next. Looks like you haven't paid off your device yet. Follow this step to pay off your contract. Then wait 24 hours before you submit a new request. So if you click here, supposedly they're gonna tell you how to pay off your device, right? So it says check wireless contract, find your contract and date. So go to your account overview. No thanks get started and this is what i'm trying to say guys you need to have an active at&t account to check the balance on your phone in my case i don't have so how can i'm gonna know how much i own that's the problem with at&t that it doesn't provide the tools for us to pay the balance and unlock this device since we don't have that we cannot unlock this s10 for free the other way to do it is by going to a website in this case we're gonna go to the unlocking company i think it is here is the first result, organic result, the unlocking company. So click there and you're going to answer the questions, you know. So who, who makes your phone is going to be Samsung and this is going to be the S10. Here you go, Samsung Galaxy S10. Click unlock now and they're going to ask you more stuff like for example, country, United States and original carrier AT&T. Next. And here they're going to ask you for the IME number and your information and they're going to tell you how much it is and you have a discount at the end you're paying like $20 to unlock this device. I already tried this and they couldn't find an unlock code so they refund my money. Okay, but you should try this before doing anything else. Now, if this fails, there's another option. The third option that is unlocking this device by software and you can do this remotely. If you give access to your computer to a, a person you trust, they can go inside your computer to access your device. They use certain tools on their end and they unlock your device by software. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now. The only problem is that you really need to trust these people and also it's not cheap. The quote they gave me is $80. So I don't know if it's worth it to pay $80 to unlock this device that is really old. But at the same time, it's in great condition it's in great shape. My goal was to update this device to Android 12. This is one of the oldest Samsung devices that can support Android 12. 
So let's do this. Let me know in the comments if you want me to unlock this device by software. And if I got enough people asking me to do it, I'll do it. All right, guys, this is your friend Alex, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.